Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own fly hacks for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. This is an updated tutorial for the version 1.17.10, but it might also work on other versions. The first thing you're going to want to do is start Minecraft and Cheat Engine, then attach Cheat Engine to Minecraft. Then you're going to want to go into a single player world with cheats enabled, and scan for whether you can fly or not. So put yourself into creative mode and do a byte scan for one. And now, switch yourself to survival mode and do a byte scan for zero. Now switch to adventure, and instead of scanning for two, you need to scan for zero again. And now switch back to creative and scan for 1, and just repeat this process until you narrow it down to about 20 or so values. Okay, so once you think you've narrowed it down enough, mm. switch yourself to survival, and add everything from here into the address list. And now, switch some of these to 1, press enter, change it to 1, and double tap jump and see if you can fly. I can't fly, so that means it isn't any of the ones we just selected, so I'm going to change them back and delete them. Now I'm going to try these ones. I'm going to change them to 1, see if I can fly. I can fly, so that means it's one of these, and not these ones, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And now I'm going to try one at a time. I'm going to change each of these back until I can't fly anymore, so I'm going to change this to 0. I'm going to try flying. I can still fly, so that means it's not this one. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to change this one to zero. See if I can fly. I can still fly, so it's not that one, so I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to change this one to zero. See if I can fly. And I can't fly. That means it's this one. If I change it back to one, I should be able to fly. I can fly. So now we just have to find out what accesses this address. And normally, we just show a disassembler, press tools, auto assemble, AOP injection, and we just, uh, basically we would try to set EAX mm. to 1, but that doesn't actually work in this occasion. It makes it just really weird when you try to fly and it just does this thing. I almost died there. Uh, and that's because this opcode actually it accesses more than one address. I'm going to change this back real quick. And basically what we have to do here is add all of these addresses except for the one here. So I'm going to add this one, this one, and this one. Select an address and press Control b in order to bring up the memory view. And now we have to find what's different with this one compared to all of these ones. What immediately shows up for me is that this one has a 2 over here and all of the other ones have zeros. So we can easily filter out the other ones by just checking if this is a 2. And if it is, we run the code that moves EAX to 1. Otherwise, we just run the original code. So I'm going to do an AOB injection real quick and name this symbol fly. You can name it whatever you want, though. And here we're going to want to compare this byte over here. Normally, it's uh, RAX plus 4 but this is offset 4 to the right, so it would actually be RAX plus 8, and now we compare it with 2. And if it's not equal to 2, we just jump to code, and if it is equal to 2, it doesn't jump, so we get to this part of the code, and we just move EAX to 1, and now we return. Assign the current cheat table, and now make sure this value is set to 0, enable this script, and you will be able to fly. If we disable the script, you will no longer be able to fly. You can also name your script something like fly, and you can delete everything else because it is no longer needed. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it, and yeah.